Give the receipts, Doug. Where are the receipts on this? Because we're gonna whip out the receipts today showing that you're a liar, this is not true, you're deceiving people, and you need to repent of this. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Today, I had to make a video responding to a guy by the name of Doug Batchelor. If you're an Adventist, you more than likely know who Doug is. If you're not, he's a prominent Seventh-day Adventist pastor who has an independent ministry called Amazing Facts. Well, there is a video on YouTube where two guys are critiquing whether or not Seventh-day Adventism is a cult and Doug is responding to them. But in the process of doing that, he says in absolutely in insane statement that we have to fact check. We're gonna put this lie to bed. I've heard other Adventists say the same claim. Guys, you need to stop. You need to move on from this and accept the facts. Stop trying to rewrite history. So if content like this interests you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you can be notified when content like this is uploaded. With that said, I'm gonna play Doug's portion first, then we're gonna get into the primary sources. So buckle up, here we go. Having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. So let no one judge you in food or in drink or regard of a festival or a new moon or Sabbaths, and sentence doesn't end, Sabbaths which are a shadow of things to come, but the substance is of Christ. Those Sabbaths that are nailed to the cross are the annual feast days of the Jews. Christians historically from the time of Christ to the present day have all believed that the Sabbath should be kept. It's only in recent years they're saying the Ten Commandments were nailed to the cross and we've just reattached nine of them. Doug, why would you say that? What a laughable claim. Folks, this guy is essentially saying Christians from the time of Christ until present day have always believed about the Sabbath like we do. It's only in modern times that this is changed. No, dude, you're a liar. Give the receipts, Doug. Where are the receipts on this? Because we're gonna whip out the receipts today showing that you're a liar, this is not true, you're deceiving people, and you need to repent of this. We're going to go to the Church Fathers today. Adventists, if you've never read the Church Fathers, spoiler alert, your mind is going to be blown. I hate to break it to you, but the great controversy is not history. It is fiction. So we're going to look at men from the first, second, third, and fourth centuries, long before the papacy, long before Constantine, long before the Council of Laodicea, long before all of the excuses that the Adventist church has tried to give to pigeonhole their unique teaching into church history. I want to preface by saying we are not going to these men to develop or support doctrine. We are simply testing a historical claim. So before you get all hyper in the comments about whether or not Christians should be sad with keeping, this is not the video for that. We will address that in another video and my answer may actually surprise you. Today we are addressing specifically the historical claim that all Christians from the time of Christ to the present day have always believed like the Adventist church does about the Sabbath. I'll put the link in the description down below so if you want to come check this out yourself, you can. So buckle up, hear me out, and let's get into it. All right, let's start with what's called the Didache. The Didache is one of the earliest church documents that we have. It's from the first century, and it basically lays out what the church universally at the time affirmed and believed. And by universal, we mean in both the East and the West. It says, quote, every Lord's Day, gather yourselves together and break bread, talking about the Lord's Supper, and give thanksgiving after having confessed your transgressions that your sacrifice may be pure. Didache chapter 14. All right, let's see what Ignatius of Antioch said. Ignatius knew John the Apostle, a disciple of one of the apostles. He says, quote, those who were brought up in the ancient order of things, meaning the Jews, have come to the possession of a new hope, no longer observing the Sabbath, but living in the observance of the Lord's day, on which also our life has sprung up again by him and by his death. Letter to the Magnesians number nine. Ignatius of Antioch wrote this on his way to be fed to lions. He was martyred for the Lord Jesus Christ. Did Ignatius miss the memo from John the Apostle that the Sabbath is the seal of God? What about Justin Martyr? 
Justin Martyr says, quote, but Sunday is the day on which we all hold our common assembly because it is the first day on which God, having wrought a change in the darkness and matter, made the world and Jesus Christ our Savior on the same day rose from the dead. First Apology 67. Notice, Justin says the exact same thing that Ignatius said. The church was meeting on the first day because that was the day that Jesus rose from the dead. Nothing to do with the papacy, nothing to do with Constantine. These people are not even on the scene yet. The church is still underground being persecuted at this time. Folks, you need to get honest about this. We could go on and on. They do not agree with the Seventh-day Adventist church. Doug is lying. So there you have it. This dude is absolutely full of it. He's willing to make bold claims and a bald-faced lie directly, sternly, and not even blink. Adventist, if you listen to Doug Batchelor, you need to fact check his claims. You just saw the sources. If you're gonna broad brush these people as being heretics, as not being Christians, you don't understand who you are critiquing. Ignatius of Antioch knew John the Apostle. You're willing to call Ignatius of Antioch a heretic, but not Ellen White, a novel plagiarist in the 19th century in the North Northeastern Peninsula of the United States. I'm not saying that Ignatius of Antioch is infallible. I'm not saying any of the church fathers were infallible. What I am saying though is that history is not on the side of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and they are willing to lie straight to your face as though what they just said is factual. Stop saying the lie that Christians go to church on Sunday because of the papacy or that everyone agreed with the SDA church's position all the way through history until modern times. This is total nonsense. So if you like videos like this, again, remember to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you can be notified when videos like this are uploaded. Until next time, God bless.